what's up guys and welcome back to the dungeon in one of my previous video you saw how to build uh, this pc but that was only half of the job because today i'm going to show you how to install the operating system but in a non-standard way what i'm going to do is to inject uh, the latest patch and updates directly in the usb stick so this way when you are finished with the installation process, you're good to go and you will save a lot of time, especially if you have a slow internet connection. But now, without any further ado, let's get started. To get this thing done is very easy, even if you are a complete beginner. All you need is love. Well, a USB stick, an internet connection and a Windows PC. But I'm pretty sure that for the latest free are going to be a very quick task for you. About love, well, I wish you luck. The first step is to create the USB key. To do that, you have to download Media Creation Tool. You can find it on Google, Microsoft website, or you can follow the link in the description below. And then you need Enlight. You need only the free version, so you can download it for free from Enlight. You can find as well the link in the description below. Now you open this tool. You click accept and now here create installation media you leave it this at default or in case you have something different change it to this next usb flash drive make sure that is at least eight gigabytes next and next now it's going to take some time depends on your internet connection but i'm going to fast forward this process At this point, your USB flash drive is ready. So you can start installing Windows right now, or you can follow the next step to inject the updates inside the installer. If you want to go this road, there's a very important step that you have to do. So enter in the command line, command prompt, and now we have to convert the USB stick from FAT32 to NTFS. We have to change the file system to allow the software, the Enlight software, to write for more than 4 gigabytes. This is a very important step. So the command is very simple. It's convert the drive letter, in my case D, and then slash FS, NTFS. This is very fast, it's usually is like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Here we are. Okay, exit, and we move to the next phase. You have to install and light. It's very easy, just follow everything. Yes, yes, move forward. And here we are. So now we only need the free version. So click OK. Let's put it like this. And now you go to e add image directory and you click the USB stick and you double click to the version you want to install. In my case, Windows 10 Pro. This is going to take some time, like five minutes. Now, one more thing, another double click to the Windows version. This is going to be faster. All right, now click on updates, add latest update online. Now I have already downloaded the patch before, but just click download and then queue. Okay, here is what we are going to inject into the USB drive. Now apply and process. This is the option that allows you, if you click yes, to disable Windows Defender, but usually I don't do it. You can do it, but honestly, you have to enable again Windows Defender and you can just click no and yes to apply the settings. 
Now it's going to take a bit and well, you will see all green light when everything is done. All right, now that you see that we have all green lights, it means that the process was done successfully and we can jump to the next step. Now that the USB key is ready, all you have to do is plug it in and switch the power on button. As you can see, we go straight to the Windows setup. Now you select your language and you click Next. Here, if you have your product key, it is time to insert it in this area. If you don't have a product key, or simply because you don't have it at hand and you want to insert it later, no problem. You just uh, click, uh, I don't have a product key. Accept the term. Next. And custom. Here, as you can see, we have uh, the disk that is new and you can just click next. The installer will do everything. And now you probably have to wait uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Now again, select the region, the keyboard layout, and move forward. Again, Select uh, your type of use, usually is personal use. Next. And here you can sign in with your Microsoft account if you have one, or you can do offline account. In my case, I click my name. Next. Password, you can set a password or even not. Better if you select a password, a good one. And now there's a lot of additional features, but honestly, at this point, I decline everything. And then you can do it later if you want. Now that we are up and running, the very first thing you have to do is to download the AMD chipset driver. Now you go to chipset, AM4, or 70, well, it actually is the same. And you go here, chipset driver, download. You can save it or just open. And then after you install the chipset driver, you obviously got to do a restart and then you go for the GPU driver. AMD or Nvidia is the same, but first you have to do the chipset driver. So you select everything and go install. If you want to overclock this specific build, check my tutorial section. There's a step-by-step -step guide. And now this tutorial ends here, since from this point you have to install your things, your application, your game. I really hope that you liked this video. If you have any question, drop a comment down below or join my Discord server. As always, like if you liked it, subscribe it for more and see you in the next one.